All right, welcome back. It's the sit down on the R2 TV breakfast show, and I have two very, very interesting people here. I'm looking forward to a great time with them. Definitely. <laughs> Beautiful okay. and handsome. Okay. Um, how do we start? No, let's let's go, ladies first. I have this beautiful lady here. She looks very cool. I mean, when I what inspired this? Oh my God! 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 Uh, okay, so you don't talk to him today. This guy. <laughs> okay, no, but, but I got you. You don't got no, 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 no. no. The guy says, you, guy says, I got your back. Yeah. No, you, 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 you don't know. Don't got your back. Don't got his back. Don't do that. No, you don't. I can have a back. But you don't have your. You can have his back. That's that's like that kind of minded way of thinking. Yeah, that that's his brain. That's that's what's going on. I got your back. To the pure things. I got your front. No, no. <laughs> don't don't, 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 don't get at all. Yes. Don't get nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. okay. It's Cora Abide in the house. Cora Abide. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, wait. That was Neil Daniel, producer. I apologize. I apologize. Okay. Are you okay? My <laughs> producer now. <laughs> now, have to, now yeah, why did you pronounce name Cora Obidi, right? Yes. It's great to have you. Very. Thank I mean, you. Wow. I just saw something now. Okay, and then of course it's Pep. No, don't introduce me. Don't introduce me. Let's not introduce me. It is Pepinazi in the house, in the flesh. Nice to meet you. You're very much welcome. What's going on, my people? Guys, we're going also. We go a long way. Let me farm now. I don't farm. We start together. We're in Lagos camp now. Now Lagos camp together. Yeah, all you Lagos people. What's in this too? And you can you can farm some. All you. What camp did you go to? What's in this too? What camp did you go to? Some Lagos camp. You will never come back alive. <laughs> okay. I was in a kitty camp. Oh, okay. yes. nice, nice. But then, yeah, okay. Great to have you guys. Camp. All right, great to have you guys. I don't have any shelters. alumnus here, so. You know, it doesn't matter. Well, Actually, well. I attended Futa, so we are together. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Futa. Ah, yeah, Futa. Yeah. 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 It sounded like, yeah. don't give that, don't give that feeling. Don't go into it. All right, so guys. talk about it. Okay, no, no, let's not go into it. Let's talk about it. Let's start something both of you share in common music before we go back into whatever you other guys did and over. It's a very, very challenging in industry. Mm, very. Exactly. Let's let's start from there. Let's start something that, um, you know, both of you can relate to it. It's a challenging industry. How has it been? How long have you guys been doing music and how has the journey been so far? For me, it's been, it's been a bumpy ride. I started like 2011 and the buzz was, you're going to, connect education and music together. How do you go about that? Mm -hmm. 2011, I came back from my internship and I came back with a video back to school. Okay. The response was good. Like the first show I had in school then, I had, I think I had, I had like 25K for it. Wow. I was motivated, but at the end of the day, the feeling was, what is next? Yeah. Now after my NYC days, a lot of things happened, you know, I had to, you know, combine a lot of things together yeah. mm -hmm. but after then the boss was necessary I had to just yeah. keep on putting work into my craft into my content and believe you me now a lot of things have changed has changed right changed. it's okay it's necessary that as an artist the funds have to be there they okay. you, be, you have to be focused you have to roll with the right people mm. and also you know you need to understand your craft mm. and know what you're dishing out to people and for me I think those are the things that's like the part where I'm, I'm trading towards. Uh, towards. For me, it's a, it's a necessary buzz and I'm getting it right now. Cool, Cora, let's talk about it. I know you just started. I mean, yeah. you're like a newbie and all of that. Yeah. How has it been in nine, 10 months so far in music? Um, I started in January. I've always loved music. I just wasn't confident enough, you know, because I'm very passionate about my thing. So okay. I'm very skeptical. Like, what are you like? I don't like. I'm like, how it, can you not like? It gets you know? to you, it right? Gets to me. It gets so to I never. You have to develop a tough to do, skill. Yeah. Yes, that's, right? how, that's I think what you, I. You, I, have, I to have to be die hard. You have to be Bruce Willis, man. So, so <laughs> just, it's just plain beef. They don't. They don't just like your face. She's pretty. Why? Why is she pretty? What, what, what's her problem? Attempts is not beef. Yeah. Yesterday, as an artist, you should be able to learn how to deal with the critics. Exactly. So long. So long. At the end of the day, yesterday, and they called her son ugly. Ugly. And does that? Something. No, but something I said. I said. For an artist, you yeah. have to develop a tough skin. Oh. 
-hmm. You don't let that kind of stuff get to you. For me, she really replied and she was all voking and all that. I was like, nah, it's not necessary. Just okay, so let's tough skin like your brother. You know Go on Twitter, about. you know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter, okay, those then, guys are not They're not Jesus. nice. They're not happy. Yeah, yeah. Trolls <laughs> on Twitter, but... Twitter is like... A lot of tantrums and other mm -hmm. things. You have okay. to do it. You, you, oh my... <laughs> so how are you... But you guys, so far? Sometimes I'm like, why started. are you guys so hateful? But sometimes... The people, my fans especially, and they're mm -hmm. amazing people. They're like, go Cora, go Cora. So shout out to my fans. I love you guys. Every mm, okay. I love you guys. And I appreciate the support. And yeah. So for years, I've been dancing and modeling. I started modeling in 2007. Mm. I won Miss More and Me, went on to Miss Unilag. Was ah, on. Miss More and Me. Went on to MBGN. <laughs> went on to Miss Global Nigeria. She's a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> cheat how, how? Like, I can, uh, and she then I've been everything. modeling for yeah. years. She's too Christ. talented for one person, right? I've been modeling for years, and I've been dancing as well. Um, but Which I always wanted to do... Ma major in? I have five styles. I do Latin ballroom. That's cha-cha, samba, oh, rumba. Definitely. And okay, you know, you know, you'll show off something before. Yes, you will. Yes, okay. you got the perfect. There's Go belly ahead. dance. There's classical Indian. There's belly dance. Uh, yeah, Director, there's please, we'll take a break so that she can change This is like so a belly dance. Like they tell them there's illegal, there's illegal there's dance. There's illegal dance. I'm going to have a call on the line. Victory from Edo State. Hello, Victory. Hello. Victory. Victory. Rico. <laughs> Did okay, you just say Michael? Thank you. Call in. The numbers to call in 0809 122 345 and 6. Also 0814 and 4. Oh, Victor is back. Victor is back. Hello. Hello, I'm here with you. Yay, finally. How are you doing? I'm fine. We've got a beautiful angel and a handsome prince here. Good morning. Ladies Good first. Morning. Ladies first. Good morning. Good morning. Just Victory. go ahead, Victor. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to do that. I can't hear you, Victory. Victory. Yeah, listen. Victory. Victory. What? Uh-uh. Victory, what? we have to cut the call. I guess you can't really hear us so well. Just anyway, change the same. Put it in an hour phone. Oh, come <laughs> on. Seriously. <laughs> Don't mind me. Are you talking about your styles of dance? Yeah. You said belly dance. Belly dance. Oh, that's why you have. Oh, now I understand. Oh uh, my. Really nice. <laughs> no, we'll just take a break so that she'll change into this. This is not the belly no, dance costume. Like she can't dance in this. Nah. She can't dance in this. You can't dance in this. Yes, you can. Nah. It's this, I can move only upper body, but I can't do this. No, Whoa, no, no. did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> do like this now. I don't do like I'm this down, now. Down. I don't do like I'm this like now. Your styles of dance, please carry on. Anyway, so yeah, it's belly dance. There's classical Indian. Mm. And Indian, contemporary and ballet. Sure. Okay. Classical Indian, what's this? Oh, nice. She has the perfect figure for it. But you don't do, you don't do hip hop? Uh, to be honest, I started off in Generation Next. It was an old Ooh. dance crew back then. Okay. And all we did was hip hop. But you know when you, with, just like music, you start, off, you start off with what everyone is doing. But then after a while, you find yourself. yourself. And I used to find out that hip hop, mm -mm. yes, I eventually got into the hard heart, but it wasn't really my thing. And I really never really enjoyed wow. genuinely dancing hip hop. But with other styles, it's almost like I'm in. You know, I'm in another world. Yeah, with your personality, it's, it's expresses <laughs> elegance. You know, so it's like, uh, in another world, you dancing. Ballet. Yes, you contemporary and ballet. Wonderful, mm. really great. So let's talk about your music. And yes, your song, music. Single. Okay, music. Um, uh, a couple of years ago, I was backup dancing for Dami Crane. Ooh. So he mm. said, we should go to Yola. He doesn't even know this. <laughs> we went to Yola and we were in a hotel room. And I remember that day, I was in my own hotel room. They gave me a hotel room, fancy. Yeah. And I was staying and I just was looking at their life, you know, like the entire day we'll be in the hotel room and then in the evening we'll go out and then perform and come back. It was just like, wow, you know, like this is amazing. And these guys, they don't even, yeah, they do the work in the studio, but then they do, they're like having fun, and then afterwards you yeah, get yeah. smiling now. <laughs> smiling, you know, feel over. Ah, yeah. It's amazing, yeah, you're, you know. You're already there. You're already there. You're no, like a I mean, celebrity. Bro. So I was in the hotel room, and yeah, I just started writing music. Mm. I had been writing. I remember writing with my brother some years back, but yeah. Mm. But I started writing, and then I just discovered, wow, you know. 
And this was a couple of years ago. Oh. So, but I never came out with my stuff, you know, because I'm already a professional. And my students would be like, no, 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 Auntie Cora, don't even try going there. No, you, got, you got it? So I, I didn't even think about doing music until wow. when, you know, finally this year was a New Year's resolution and I just decided to put out my new song. And the response was like, wow, where what? have you been? You know, like, what? So what's the style of music you decided to stick with? Uh, I started off with um, dancehall because everyone thinks I'm uh, sweet. But dancehall is very ragged, it's very rough, and it's very... Okay, and then, I'm on. One we have Ita, right hey. here in Vegas. Hello, Ita. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning, oh. How are you doing, Ita? I'm good. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, Mike and Jerry. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Uh, I have a question for the female artist. Okay. Hello, Ita. My name is Cora. I, I, I just want to know. Hey, hello, Jaro. It's Cora. I just know how she was able to cope with the uh, music and family challenges. Did your family, your family really uh, support your kind of music? Okay. okay. Her family. You're talking about her family, right? Yeah. How oh. did your family react to when you oh. like, I want to go into similar music? Oh. Okay. And what okay. Are, their, are their support for you? Okay. 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 No, you can answer me. Okay, right. so Ita, um, my father is my greatest support system. He is my everything. So my yeah. family has no problem with my music. In fact, they they are like, go to the interview, wake up, you know. So it's it's a strong support system, and I'm very happy about that. Mm. That's great. Mm. So strong support system. Yeah. 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 How is the support system for you? Is it friends? Is it different? Is it different? Is it different <laughs> Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. How was it? Yes, when you decided I want to do music, I mean, just finished school, I man. Come on, go out, go and get a job. Let me tell you When I was in school, I was part of the student union government. I was the social director. No, we were struggling. Ah, <laughs> it was a struggle. Oh, okay. well, you see, yes, it's, it, I now that feeling of, it's always that feeling steady. of you being the student union government social director, and you can't yeah. even go back home and tell them that, that. Ah. Because the feeling was like, bro, how come? How? You're yeah. a cultist. Something would have happened. You joined some guys and exactly. all that. Exactly. Like, it was that feeling. And it was the same thing for music as well. Mm. Okay. Not until I got back from school and, you know, parents are funny. Once they, the first tablet they see and they see your face you. on that tablet, they'll be like, that's my son. oh, okay, that's my honest, son. To be honest, <laughs> let, me, let me get like, in there. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, yeah. yeah. My parents, my father, because I went to Unilag and I finished with honors. And he already had my name on a desk somewhere in Union Bank. I was already, my life was cut out for me. Wow. <laughs> you know, wow. like, you finish, you go to the bank, you get married. They even get jobs for you, Juno. They get jobs for you. Yeah. They're like, ah, oh, man, yeah, you need to get me down my like, friend. Yeah, you even be very somewhere. good. You know, you know computer very well. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. But then I came back. I started from modeling. When I won my first pageant, my dad is like, mm. what is that? And then he's like, no. It was a hustle. Everybody in my house was like, what he are you doing? He wasn't happy that you wanted. He wasn't happy that I was towing that route. So okay. he wanted me to do something else. But then I, I remember one night after coming, I came home after, you know how the industry is, you come back at 3 a.m. People are thinking, where is she coming from at that time? But that's when you work, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I came back, I remember doing a, something, I can't remember for MTN Polo or something. Am I supposed to okay. name drop? <laughs> okay, okay, so I remember doing something for MTN Polo and I was just panicking. Oh my God, it's three o'clock, <laughs> Jesus. I remember taking a taxi home and my dad was just in parlor waiting for me, sitting down waiting. That's my dad too. And then when, he, when, I, got, when wow. I got him, he was so furious. He said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I said, daddy, this is what I want to do. And this was after I came back. This was after four years of university. Just so I'm like, you. daddy, I thank you. And he's like, this is really what I, he's like, okay. Let me even see what this girl is doing. You know, that was how he started. And then wow. he started seeing my dancing. He started for me dancing. He's like a huge fan of my dancing. And he started, and now it's the music. He's like, woo, this is a hot one. This is good. You know? You need to see your dad do that. My dad getting the baddest guy by the bed album. That was Olamide's wow. album. Yeah. Wow. And he wrote the intro. I told him, crazy. I told him that. Wow. I wrote the intro of that album. I wrote the intro and I was on that track, hmm. track wow. 11. That was myself, I Spence and India. Hmm. Wow. It was like, uh, you know Yoruba parents now? Show me shock when you go to the Are you sure that's what you want to do? Okay. Not they until he come to our album yeah. and he saw, he saw my name, Pepe Nazi, on the track with Ice Springs, India. I was also lucky to be on the Street OT album. 
That mm. was myself, Chinko, Liu Kesh, and the rest of them, and yeah. the exclusive album, mm. myself and Olamide. Mm. Then my dad was like, yeah, nice one, that's my son. <laughs> He's doing well. <laughs> He's really doing great. Yeah. Really there are great. times when you see um, some artists have names, some have songs, you know, there's who that can recognize by the yeah, song. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel, you know, I feel that I've heard the name more often yeah. than, what would you, how would you describe, I've heard your name more often than your song. The name is very strong, uh, Pepe Nazi, it's a very unique name. You talk, uh, talk to us about Pepe Nazi, first of all. Yeah. How do you come about that name? Pepe Nazi was the name I got back then in secondary school. Okay. Oh. It's an secondary school? Uh, oh, 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 oh. It's an abbreviation. It means people end. People, people enjoy. And, enjoy. Nice and zealous instincts. Okay. Now, what you need to hold on to is the instincts. Like, mm. okay. everything we do, we all work with instincts, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Secondary school, do your people are using all these acronyms yeah. by that time. Yeah, very sharp. Uh, Maybe that's school in Kenya now. You don't know Taisho Lani. You must know Taisho Lani now. You can't know you don't know this. So, like, students there were like, you know, always trying to make things happen, and they mm. were those very intelligent students, and mm. they gave that name to me, and I held on to the name. But what I was working with basically was more of the instinct. Okay. And every sound I've, I've brought out, or every content I brought out right now, you can relate to it from the likes of Illegal, Fifema, Yolo. There's mm. always a message, and I always try to pick on people's instinct, always trying to pass the message across. Okay. You know, I always have that feeling that, oh, there's someone, someone right there having that same feeling I'm feeling right here. And okay. I always pass that message across based on instincts. So okay. instincts have been working that's for me. A that's you guys, you guys have been talking about the good part, the good part, good part. So what has been your biggest challenge? You, you're going to talk, I, you're going uh, to talk about too it Too much. What's your Love biggest challenge? Not before, before you um, became affiliated with <coughs> yeah. YBNL, like now, or right now, what's your biggest challenge as an artist? I think right now is, is dishing out like a back-to-back, -back. a back-to-back -back in the sense that a backup for every new stuff that you put out. Okay. There's always that feeling like, okay, now you have a leg. What is next for you? Mm, now you need, you need to do a lot of research. You need to be sure of what you're putting out to people, what you're dishing out to people. And mm. for me, it's been, it's been really hard because most of the time you bring guys to the studio and be like, most of them will be like, oh, I like this, I like that, I like that, I like that. But you're not still sure. And another thing is you're not sure of what people are telling you if they're actually telling you the truth. Mm. So one thing is that you need to have a strong belief in what you're doing. In what you're doing and mm -hmm. also your craft. Okay. What about you? What's your biggest challenge? Um, for me, you know, because my craft has a lot to do with dancing and now that I have Man Like You out there, the video is sick, I want to perform it the way that I feel like. But then you go to different places and you have like tiny microscopic stages for, so you can give what you want yeah, and that, that would be me compromising my craft. Mm -hmm. You get it? Like, mm -hmm. that would be me just coming and being like, so it's, that's my huge, huge challenge for me. Wow. Because I do not want to come out and just be, you know. But, but, but everywhere is your stage, you can decide you to just. Star Trek. Star Trek was fun though. Yeah, uh, was Star it? Trek was, was amazing. Experience. I had four dancers. We worked on the routine for weeks and finally it was, it was amazing. Oh. I loved, so and you like always they, use I did dances. strong. You have your dance group. I, I always have. We were together at the Bad Star Trek, and it was, okay. it was a lot cool. of fun. Okay, but then what <laughs> do you do when you get when you get a small stage and you don't have? What do you, you do? I'd have to situations? perform by myself, which is an uh, which it would be an alteration of. But my craft is, it's a lot of preparation. You know, it's not just a yeah. just come, come and come yes, I can come and hey, sing my song, but that is not Cora. You get it? Mm. So. Okay. When I want to do, like, okay, when I went to my hometown, hey, Delta Evo, I'm Delta Evo. Yeah. So I went to Delta, I was in Asaba, and I had to pre perform, and, you know, there was, they understood, you know, they put out, the, there was a stage, there was, you get it? Yeah. I don't want, I want event promoters to be more about the craft of music and mm. the choreography and everything that goes into it. And they shouldn't make people sort of change themselves mm. just to fit into. Apart from that, I'm having amazing response to my music. Um, mm. I think it's God. <laughs> it is God. I, I know it's God, and mm. I'm, I'm very happy. I can't, I can't ask for more. Oh, yeah. Nazi, what's, what's, so far, what's, what has been the highest point of your career so far? I think the highest point has been Star Trek. Star oh. Trek. And I, I was lucky to get a proposal from Columbia Records. Oh, yeah, so so which cool. Columbia did? Uh, it's not Africana. the one in Asaba. No, no, not the Colombia. No, there's, not there's, the there's, Colombia there's behind Columbia. Mexico. Yes, there's, of course. There's, 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 there's Columbia. Yes. Yes. I want to be sure. I'm talking Columbia. about Columbia Records, Africa. For okay, me. Africa. All right. Okay. Also, to submit my demo. And, okay. Uh, I actually had that chance to perform on Star Trek, as I said. And, okay. Uh, Guinness Made of Black. Mm. And for me, it was big. Because uh, after okay. Ibadan, the biggest for you. 
After about that, they had to call me for Lagos. Wow. Oh, okay, because so that, for me, that, that was really big. That was big. Who was the man after, um, yeah, for my music career, yes. After Ibadan. That's, that's big, really. Star Trek for someone that just started this year. Like, that's, that's big. That's we were stars that day. <laughs> Seeing us. Oh my God, that's my ex. After, oh, it was you know amazing. Feeling, you know, people tell you, I was traveling to Ibadan. People called me like, ah. People know your song in Ibadan. I was like, oh, yeah. Me, people didn't know my song because I had never put it out there. It yeah. was Strong Love. I've still not released Strong Love. Oh, okay. But okay. To, to the second verse, people were like, hey, I love it. Strong Love. Even Ibadan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you guys can get on YouTube and put uh, it out, yeah. Okay. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. The performance okay, so let's see. Final words. Um, what, how far do you guys expect to take your careers to? Here it goes. And then when you do that, you drop your social media handles so I'll come and contact you. you. So how far? I, do you expect a character? To, to the go? max, you know, I want to be 50 and performing. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to see her belly dancing at 50. <laughs> We'll teach you guys the Lego dance. Of course, you should do it. So how do people get to you? Um, at Cora Obidi. It's not one R. It's K O double R A K O double R A O B I D I. Cora Obidi. Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. Media, social media Twitter, Snapchat. You. My Snapchat family, they already know I'm here. Oh, you know? Perfect. <laughs> perfect. 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 <laughs> For me, I think I want my song to be timeless. You know, something people can relate to in the next 10 years. Timeless. I like that. Timeless. And um, timeless. basically put out what is necessary, things people can relate to. Mm. Um, it's been a long time coming. And for me, all I want to do is just make myself relevant. Consistency is key. Be an artist who can enjoy longevity. Mm. And then uh, be a force to reckon with. Word. That's all. Okay, Word. we don't have so much follow time. Follow me on no, wait, no, follow me on Instagram, P -E -N -Z -I, P -E -P -N -Z -I. <laughs> on Twitter and the rest of them. Facebook fan page P E P N E Z I. Illegal dance, right? Okay, slowly. P E P N E Z I. Pepe Nazi. Pepe Nazi. On the streets. Pepe Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're taking this out. It's been the breakfast show. You know what? You just do what you want to do. What, illegal what's dance. They should play my song now. Play illegal now. Wait, you, you uh, dance the belly dance. I'll do the illegal dance, okay? Is it, is it okay? Like it's better you do the leg dance. So. <laughs> Don't go do belly dance. <laughs> Don't go no, with. he's got he's got a good belly now. No, but I can't belly dance. It's like a girl. No, just, just anything. Just do anything. Just a a sample. It's been the breakfast show on our yeah. TV. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> just because I just do the leg dance. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, we got our belly, 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 belly. That was what that was.